Gamma Java students, I'm very glad to present you Ross Boris of his our instructor who will lead the course DevOps Engineer Jenkins Plus Docker. In this video, you'll be able to hear more about his experience and different details about the course. Please, Ross, tell our student more about yourself, your experience, and how many years you have been working in the IT industry. Thank you, Gary. Hello, everybody. Like Gary said, my name is Ross. I have been working in the IT industry for more than 20 years now. Uh, I have a lot of experience uh, with the modern DevSecOps uh, movement since, uh, you know, the no later than 2013. And uh, I am also working in a big uh, software company responsible for uh, overall architecture and processes in regards to DevOps for many product groups. Great, thank you very much. And the next question is, according to your observation, what is demand for such professionals like DevOps engineer? Well, I'm happy that you asked that because uh, clearly we are now living in the uh, days of strong demand for that skills. And uh, when I say those skills, I don't mean just people who know how to use the technologies that emerged in this uh, movement uh, like containerization and most importantly container orchestration uh, which nowadays mostly translates into docker and kubernetes but of course also others uh, but the industry is especially looking to hire people who uh, are well aware of how a modern uh, devsecops process looks like you know how to build a pipeline uh, what is important to be there, uh, what are the goals that we are uh, uh, trying to achieve, and then how are we measuring the success of that implementation. You know, things like value streams and then mapping those value streams out and measuring them and etc. are very important for the industry. So just knowledge of uh, using the tools is not enough. Thank you. Thank you very much. And please tell us a bit more about the course, what topics will be covered and what practical exercise it will include. All right. Well, uh, this is a course which is oriented uh, to teach practical um, uh, skills to the students. So uh, clearly we are going to use a very popular uh, CICD software, open source uh, Jenkins. So we are going to introduce uh, this uh, software. We are going to work with it a lot. We are going to be creating a lot of pipelines with it. But of course, we are also going to be learning to administer it. This will be part of the exercises. And then, of course, we are going to focus uh, more on automating those pipelines in a professional manner. There are going to be exercises using the API scripting. Uh, and of course, learning how to secure it professionally. Thank you. Great. And tell us what prerequisites should students uh, have to for this course? Well, if uh, anybody has experience with uh, any kind of scripting, be that bash scripting in the Linux world or even the PowerShell in the Windows world, that would be a great start. It's not a must, but it certainly is going to help. And then in terms of uh, coding, with uh, like you know programming in i don't know java c sharp whatever this is not a must once again it is certainly going to be beneficial to those of you who also have developed some code but uh, nevertheless you know the focus of this course is if somebody else elsewhere has implemented some code then what in a you know, code repository then what do we do with it like, how do we create the relevant devsecops process around it and you know the associated pipelines so to summarize, scripting skills are going to be very beneficial to you, not mandatory. Coding skills, somewhat beneficial to you, again, not mandatory. Even, But even if you come totally fresh to this course with a lot of interest in the IT industry and you want to learn uh, you know, the DevSecOps from scratch, then you would still be welcome to this course. Thank you. Thank you. And tell us more about the international certificate we our student get after successfully passing the exam at the end of the course. 
Well, all right. As we saw on the previous slide, uh, this course is uh, going to be based on Jenkins. And Jenkins is vendored by the company CloudBees, uh, which they have uh, crafted uh, official, you know, um, um, courses, material that, you know, people working with Jenkins should know. And respectively, there are exams associated with that. So our course is going to be preparing people to uh, take that official exam uh, that is compiled and provided by CloudBees. Now, those of you who pass this exam, you're going to have a certificate, which is globally, worldwide valid, of course. Uh, it's available uh, online. So anybody, like if you send this certificate to anybody, they could validate that you really have taken the exam on which date and et cetera. And again, this is a uh, certified Jenkins engineer you know, by the company CloudBees. Thank you. Thank you for your answer. And what job positions are suitable for specialists who just completed this course? All right. Well, nowadays uh, there are so many titles across the companies because you know every company decides you know for their own uh, naming convention for the internal titles. So very commonly you're going to find titles like DevOps engineer. You know clearly this course is a great fit for that. Other times you're going to find a title like um, um, release manager. Uh, with DevSecOps, uh, you know, uh, capabilities and etc. And of course, this course is going to pre uh, uh, prepare you for that kind of role. Uh, now, even if you are like in an administrative role, uh, even, even if you have existing job with that, you know, this course is still going to be helpful to increase your uh, skills, you know, capabilities. And then you are going to be able to fulfill your daily obligations in a more automated, more, um, how to say, up-to-date manner. So there is a big variety of uh, roles that is going to be uh, benefiting from this course. Thank you. And please tell us what can be the next step for the students after they take this course? Well, again, first of all, I would highly encourage everybody uh, taking the course, which means, you know, attending all the classes, you know, uh, participating in all the, uh, the labs and, you know, successfully getting to the end of the labs and etc. The next step, I would encourage everybody to really uh, go and take the uh, exam that we mentioned previously, uh, certified uh, Jenkins engineer by CloudBees. Um, after that, of course, it, it would be a matter of like popularizing your success. I would encourage you to publish uh, the successful taking of the exam, the certificate essentially on your LinkedIn profiles and then, you know, start applying for the roles that we previously mentioned. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ross, for taking the time to speak with us today. Your insight have provided valuable information that will certainly help our students make informed decision about their application for this course. We truly appreciate your contribution and look forward to seeing you again in our coming training sessions. See you. Thank you, Gary. My pleasure. See you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.